Welcome to All Horse Racing All the Time. I'm your host, Al. I guess a lot of people are still scratching their heads after this one. Who <laughs> watched the Jim Dandy Stakes? Now, I think the one that got hosed the most here was Angel of Empire. Now, Forte, right, head, heading into the stretch, into the stretch, multiple times ran into Angel of Empire, who is known for the patented late run and was starting to make the charge. And as you can see in this picture here, Forte, I ride Ortiz up, virtually making a right turn into the charging angel of empire. Now that's not the first time it happened here. This is maybe the third or fourth one in the series. It had happened multiple times before. And eventually Forte got through. There was, that was not a hole, folks. He didn't have an opening there. This was a forced opening by force. Look at this. Look at this picture. And this happened, again, multiple times as a horse's charge for home. I don't think the leader would have hung on here. It looks like Angel of Empire was going to make that move, and he would have been the one that caught the leader and won the 2023 Jim Dandy Stakes at Saratoga. And eventually, at first, it took a while for it to come up, but then the you know the inquiry shine did did show up. It took a while, and they decided to leave Forte up, who eventually won by a nose. And meanwhile, Angel of Empire's momentum was hindered multiple times down, heading towards the finish line in ways just like this. Is this right? Is this? That's reckless riding, folks. And that's not the first time I, I ride Ortiz is known for this stuff, but he gets the gifts all the time. He gets the calls. And now in this case, you have... Forte, but it's not just Forte here. It's, okay, Irod Ortiz, Pletcher, Mike Rapoli. How were the stewards going to take Forte down? Do you think those guys get favoritism with the business they bring to Naira? They get this call. Now, if it was reversed, say this was that horse making the right turn in front, say that was M Angel of Empire and the one outside of him was Forte. You think Angel of Empire would have been left up if he benefited from this type of foul multiple times? Are you kidding me? What do you think? Really, what do you think? Leave the comments down below. So Forte comes out of it with the victory here. I, I think the winners should consider, you know, the winning connections should consider themselves extremely, extremely fortunate. And their hearts were pounding. Uh, they had to rely on help from the stewards to eke out this victory, which was stolen. Yes, stolen from Angel of Empire. Should this be allowed? If the jockey of Angel of Empire had committed a foul like this or any other jockey, they might be facing days, maybe weeks of a suspension on top of the disqualification of their horse. And it's not sour grapes for me. You know, I call it like I see it. You know, when I win a race this way, when I play, I'll be the first one to say it that, I, and I've said it on my shows, I've won some this way, benefited, the beneficiary of such poor stewards' calls and said, I, hey, I'm the first one to admit it. I didn't deserve this. I didn't, didn't deserve this victory. That was a foul. So, you know, I, I'm a straight shooter, you know, a straight talker. 
You know, I tell it like it is. Let's get back to the stewards for a second. What do you think the stewards were thinking? What were they thinking? Should this have been allowed to happen? Do they let it slide? Because some say, oh, well, they're hesitant to, you know, take anybody down in a stakes race. What about the Kentucky Derby when, who was it? When a few years back and they, they disqualified the horse. And, and this is the Jim, Jim Dandy stakes. It's not like it's the Kentucky Derby. Make no, make no, no, no bones about that. So I'll be addressing this further. I thought I'd put it out there, get some feedback, get your feedback. Maybe I'll do a live show on this topic so you can weigh in. Maybe I'll even take on guests who like to weigh in on the topic. So this is a primer. It's a hot topic. Now let's go to Andy Serling for a second, who has a Twitter account. Now he posted something. He thought it shouldn't have been a, uh, he thought it shouldn't have been a, DQ, there were too many ambiguous factors in there, and he got flooded with people, you know, outraged. They were outraged about what Andy's opinion about that. And he eventually took all these comments down. You know, should he have left them up? You know, he, he weighed in and, he, you know, the people had a chance to come in and give their side of the story what they thought. I mean, they're racing fans, too, and they saw the race and they're letting, you know, everyone saw this. Yeah, I could see if it was on a radio show or something, and there was no, no film footage. But this was live and multiple bumps, not just bumps, not like they're side by side bumping into each other. This horse is like cutting straight across. Look, the photo doesn't lie. Look, he's facing almost towards the crowd. You know, what happened if they clip heels like that? Look how close their legs are together on a track with bad conditions. What if everybody went down? He could have taken out all four, all four of those horses could have went down. Maybe the one on the extreme outside uh, could have stayed up there, but it could have caused a multiple horse uh, accident on the track, Irod Ortiz. You know, should he, have, should he have gotten penalized for this? Look at this. I'm just, I'm just giving you the picture here. Picture is right before your very eyes. I didn't Photoshop this. <laughs> oh, brother. You see this. And, and it's the same characters that get the breaks like this. Anyway, I thought I'd weigh in, in on this here. This is not, to, you know, I'm sure, you know, the your Forte connections want this to go away as quick as possible. They, they don't want to talk about it. I don't think they feel good about the victory. I think, you know, they're, they're like, okay, we got it. Forte is a great one. I'm not saying Forte. I'm not saying it's Forte's fault, of course. He was, you know, he was being driven by a rod. You know, I, mean, I have nothing against Forte. He's, he's, he's a tremendous horse, excellent horse. Is he as good as Angel of Empire? Um, not by the third graph numbers, not by the de development as a three-year-old. Forte really hasn't moved forward from his two-year-old campaign while Angel of Empire has been moving forward. And he looked like he was going to take him here in this particular race. And Angel of Empire at this distance, two for two coming in. And he was making the charge. He was making the move. He was starting to make move up. Remember, this guy's a closer. Forte cut him off three, four times. This way, not only cut him off, you know, cut in front of him. He's actually bumping into him. He's right on top of him. Not like they're running side by side. Angel of Empire had the empire, had had the momentum. So I'm going to be addressing this further. I'd like your comments down below. What do you think? Do you think Forte was deserving? And if so, what do you think about this move? What do you think about cutting directly in front of him, facing a facing almost towards the stands at this point. He didn't have an opening, folks. He, he There was a horse that was coming faster than him. So I just thought I'd throw that out there and uh, see what you had to think about this. Hey, 
I just want to see fairness in the game as a uh, somebody who loves horse racing, participates, show here. Weigh in. What do you think? I cry foul here on this. 